Good morning, friends. This is Renee from Little Village Homestead. And how are you all this morning? Oh my goodness, have I had a busy week. I haven't done any videos. I, I've just been so busy. It's early in the morning. I look like a disaster, but believe me, I'm going to work, so that's okay. I got my hat on, got my grubby clothes on. Six o'clock in the morning, I got to go to work about eight. So I thought I'd whip out this video because there's a couple things I want to tell you. Do you get your coffee? Mm, nothing like coffee. First of all, remember these candles that I made on the video out of shortening. And I don't remember exactly when I made them a month or more ago. Anyway, if you can see this, these, that's how beautiful they burn. Now I can't turn it upside down because I just put it out. I burned this about, well, I'm up about four o'clock in the morning. My husband and I, so we light it and it burns for a couple hours. It's now six o'clock and I just put it out. But this was the one that I made in the video and it's been burning every morning for a couple hours since that video. And look how beautiful that's done. Boy, I tell you. I also want to tell you, if you're not too crafty at making these, but you'd like them, just drop me a comment with your address and we can figure out a way I can sell them to you. But for that, let me set that aside. Oh, and I wanted to show you this, honey. I went to Costco yesterday. Well, actually I went to Sam's and Costco. I had quite a busy day yesterday. I went to Sam's and Costco and then I also went to an estate sale. But I got this at Costco for like five bucks. This great big huge five pound bottle of honey. I use that all the time in my oatmeal and cookies and my uh, granola, all that. But anyway, yesterday when I went to, I did quite a good haul. I did a lot of things at, I got a lot of my staples at Sam's, my big bag of chocolate chips, my walnuts, my um, powdered sugars, you know, my baking staples there. And uh, then at, at Costco, I got the toilet paper and the paper towel, you know, the paper goods and stuff. But that was, that was fun. But this is what I did when I went to, what I got when I went to the uh, estate sale by Travers. And that was fun. It was packed because we had to sign in. And I think we waited about 40 minutes out in the cold before we could get in there. But anyway, what, it was well worth it. I, and I, I thought, at first I thought, oh, yo, this is going to be horrible. I'm going to freeze to death waiting out here. Because it was only like 30s, you know, um, low 30s out. Anyway, when I went in there, I got these. And these are the silicone sheets for your cookies, for your baking trays. And these are expensive. When you go into uh, like Bed, ba Bed Bath & Beyond, I think I was at Bed Bath & Beyond at one point in time. And they're like almost $20 a piece. I couldn't believe it, how expensive they were. I got these two. And you see, they're in beautiful shape. Just need a good, you know, washing. I got them for a buck fifty for two of them. So that was a good buy. Okay. I'm going to like those. And the other thing I got, and I thought this was absolutely cute. My daughter loves um, the Paris. Anything that has the Eiffel Tower, you know, anything that has to do with Paris. So I found this cute little oven mitt. And see the Eiffel Tower on it? It's darling. But not only that, here's the beautiful apron. And it's never been used, folks. Never been used. And see the beautiful Eiffel Tower on it? My daughter is going to absolutely love that. And uh, I got this for two bucks. Never been used. Hasn't been used once. I got that for two dollars there. I'm going to give that to her for in her, in her Easter basket. <laughs> yes, she's 31 and she still gets an Easter basket. Okay, so when I was there, I found some utensils and stuff for... Oh, they were like a buck a piece. So, and I've been wanting one of these for uh, my cookies. But these are ridiculous in the store. Uh, it's like the little uh, Amish store that I go to down the road. They're like eight or nine dollars for one of these. 
And it's like, oh my, that's just too much. So I've been using one of those little eighth cup scoops. Just pack it full, roll it up, and put it out. This will be nice because I can just scoop it and drop it. Love it. And this, I got my little thing. I use that for my, my crafts for combining salts and powders and different things. I don't always use these for baking. I just, I use that for crafts. But I got these nice spatulas, you know, rubber spatulas. They're in very good shape. I got those. And I got all my whisks. I love whisks. Can't have enough of them. I love using them. But these are some real nice ones. These are all stainless. And... I like them, and they're not cheap when you buy any of this stuff. And then I thought this was cute. It was a little vintage potato peeler, and it says vintage on it, and it's a star, made in Switzerland. But I don't think it's been used. It's like, looks like brand new, and it's sharp, and it's got the little, little dilly on the side that will take your eyes off your potato. So I grabbed all those, and this was my ultimate find. Okay, this is quite heavy. It's all stainless and it's beautiful. And you can see it's in very good shape. Nice big colander, I love them. This one wasn't marked. The one that was next to it was a little bit smaller than this. And it was marked at like $8, eight or $9, something in there. And then I saw this one and it's about the same thing, only a little bit bigger and I thought, well, if this isn't marked, I'm going to see what they'll take for it, you know, because I'm good at negotiating. Well, I, you know, I went up there and I had asked her, and of course they were real busy. I, I didn't mean to cause any confusion or anything. And the one gal says, oh, just give us a buck for it. Yeah. Sold. So I grabbed that. So I got all those, those little goodies and at that estate sale. I love estate sales. I gotta clean those up. Now I've got to figure out because I have got way too many utensils. <laughs> but you can never have enough when you like to cook. Now I gotta figure out a spot in this pantry or maybe even by my stove that I can use like a towel rack and some S hooks to hang my um, utensils because my little barrel that I store them in is getting too packed, packed way too full. So with that, and check these out. These are huge oranges that I got um, at Sam's. Beautiful, big, love them. Okay, so with that, it's been a busy week for me. I've been doing all kinds of stuff, working. I've been putting in a lot of hours this week, but I wanna do some extra hours, and I've been doing that so that I have the funds available for our little chicken coop that we plan to build in about a couple of weeks we're going to start it. I've got it all picked out, what, you know, how we're going to design it and everything. And we're going to take care of that. And with that, I didn't do any canning this week. I do want to can some vegetable soup up. And uh, I did organize my pantry and rotate all my stuff and get everything, you know, put in order. And... Uh, not well, much else gone. Just waiting for the snow to melt, basically. Can't do much until the snow is gone. It's been chilly out. It's supposed to be warmer. And, uh, meh. So I just enjoy my coffee and plan out my day. And I've got enough of my paper products for a while. I got enough baking staples for a while. I'm, I'm good to go. And, you know, I only go on uh, a grocery haul maybe once every three months. And I don't go up to Sam's a lot. I don't have a membership there or Costco, but my friend does. And uh, she takes me when she goes, and I, I just love it. I love it. I can get all my, you can get a lot of stuff up there. Good price. Some things, no. But there's some pretty good deals up there. And uh, the best deal we hit was at estate sale. We weren't even really planning on stopping there, but that was fun. I like that. She got all kinds of stuff, too. So, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Just kind of a short little pantry chat and not much going on. And I am going to do a video. I'm going to show you and uh, how I do my Easter eggs. And you'll crack up laughing because it's fun. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Get your Cool Whip ready. 
Easter eggs are fun to do. And uh, this year I'm going to do them with the little girls. But I don't think I'm going to do the video with the little girls because I'm going to show you just how easy it is to color your eggs. And I'll probably do that video tomorrow a little bit early. And I'll just use a few eggs in there because Easter's, you know, a few days away yet. And I want to do it in time enough for you to be able to give it a whirl yourself. And you'll like it. It's a real easy way to do them. No mess. Not much mess. Cool Whip cleans up easy. So that, and I'll probably do another video on, um, on uh, canning my soup. I want to make some vegetable soup and can that up. And then, uh, yeah, busy. Ugh. I gotta have time to unwind. I got a 12 hour shift today, so I won't be home till after 8 o'clock. But tomorrow, I got pretty much the morning off, and I'll figure out a good video. So, until then, I guess, <laughs> have a wonderful day. Have a lovely weekend, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.